everybody got another little update for you guys uh, got something interesting here I bought some uh, old glory actually they're they're from their command decision miniatures line 15 mil uh, figures recently and these specifically are wounded dead and stretcher teams which I thought would be a nice add to my World War two games and flames of war games uh, for instance, if I had a few teams get wiped out or a whole platoon get wiped out on the table, I could just replace them uh, maybe with some round bases and there'll be casualties on it. So I think it would show up good for my battle reports and things like that uh, online. But uh, I took a shot at it and see what they look like and how the scale of these figures matches up with, say, the Battlefront figures. Now, I heard that these were a little bit smaller. Uh, the old glory ones so and definitely you can see that they are a little bit smaller and I'm going to show them off to you guys and you can be the judge for yourself let me get focused here you kind of see how well they match up that's a guy taking a hit right there uh, the figure on the left of course is a battlefront figure the other one is an old glory so you kind of get an impression there of how they work. They're nice figures though, I have to admit. Let's do another one. Again, the figure on the left is an old glory. Or on the right, rather. That's an old glory on the right. The one on the left is a battlefront. So there you can see two figures. See, they're all right. You can put these on the tabletop together. Uh, I don't know if you'd put them on the same base together, but you can definitely use these in the same game. The old glory figures are substantially cheaper. Nice detail on it. Must be a stretcher bearer. But anyway, I think that'll look pretty cool for my games. I think when you guys watch a battle report that I do and you see one uh, platoon or get decimated or something, I can replace them with some actual casualties, and that'll look pretty cool. So there they are, folks. That is the old glory figures, or the command decision figures, however you want to call it basically old glory compared to say the battlefront models see I I'd, I'd throw them on the same table together there's a definite difference in girth so there you go folks by the way I'll show off some of the other figures here got some interesting models I think it's pretty cool. You can add things like this onto your tabletop. Look great. And I think uh, even though these, these are slightly smaller than the normal Battlefront figures, I think it's worth having. You get some pretty cool dioramas, or like I'm going to do, I'm going to use them as uh, markers to show casualties and things. And they do actually sell, Old Glory that is. Uh, infantry that are dug in. In other words, they're like, you can only, it's, their models are basically from the chest up. They don't have legs in there. You set them inside of little foxholes, which looks really cool. And that would look good in your, your games. If you wanted to show dug in troops, I mean, actually have uh, little foxholes and put the little half models inside the little foxholes and they're peering out and shooting. It'd look a lot more realistic. So there you go, folks. That's a look at them. And there's like 50 models in a pack. They're pretty cheap. And uh, I bought some Americans and I bought some Germans. And I'll probably buy some Brits as well. Again, the figure on the left over here, that is a battlefront. The figure on the right is Old Glory from their Command Decision line. Look at that, that's pretty good. And they have pretty extensive lines too. They got Felsham Jaeger and the normal troops and Grenadiers and of course they have all their vehicles. I wouldn't go into the vehicles because they're they're gonna be smaller and it's gonna be more noticeable alongside the battlefront vehicles. So there you go folks. That's a look at Old Glory's World War II command decision line. Nice detail on them too.
Okay, folks, that's my little update. Not much, but this is what I will be working on. Get some more Flames of War Battles V4 under my belt pretty soon. We shall see. Whoops, sorry. All right, folks, stay tuned. I got more, more updates coming. Take care.